Yeah, we're recording now. So this is an open discussion about where we should be getting oil from on the 2JZ GE. Uh, we all want the same thing we all want. Nice, good, clean oil, lots of flow, and we want it on the exhaust side of the engine. Only problem is, is this right here on this oil flow diagram is not drilled through. So Toyota didn't drill this through on the GE blocks. This is empty. This right here is empty, but this was never drilled through. Um, so this is a GTE block, uh, but everything's on the same on the GE except for the oil squirters, the turbo return right here, and the turbo feed that's right here. GE blocks are empty, there's nothing. So it stops here. So let's follow the oil. Oil's picked up in the tube, runs through the block, into the pump. Pump pressurizes it, sends it to the outside of the oil filter, which is right here. Outside is where the dirty oil goes. Through the filter, filter comes uh, through the middle, the middle is clean. So when you take your oil off of the union bolt, you're taking clean oil, which is good. It goes back into the intake block galley where it splits. Some goes this way and you can see the arrows. It goes into the crank. Some goes this way, goes into the crank, goes this way, goes into the crank, and then here's where it falls back out of the crank. The uh, leftover oil then goes to the rear of the block, up the block, through the head gasket, through the head, and then up into some cross-drilled galleys in the head. So this is feed. So, I mean, looking at this, you just tap into any feed zone, whether it's over here or over here. Uh, the only question is, is, is where you're tapping into feed going to be a large enough port to let you flow enough for your oil demands? So the pressure of the system, the pressure is the same. Everywhere you measure pressure, it's going to be the same. The pump is keeping up the pressure. Pump creates flow. Lack of flow creates pressure. Any over pressure, the pump bleeds off. So I think personally that if you're gonna run a GTE pump on a GE block without oil squirters and you're gonna take oil from the top of the head at the back or the union, you're gonna run it to your turbo. Um, I think if you're using a ball bearing turbo, you're not gonna have a problem. Ball bearing turbos require such little flow. They really just want just a drip of oil to keep the balls oiled up. Now, if you are running a journal, you need flow to keep that bearing in the center. Now, how much flow? I don't know. Okay, that's that's turbo specific. So the safe way that we all know works is taking it from the oil filter union bolt. That works great. I'm gonna try and run it from the back of the head on a ball bearing. We'll see what happens. Um, this, this port right here, is about the right size for a one eighth NPT. So on, on my car, I have drilled this way out to put in a, I think it's four NPT or three NPT. It's really not all that big to go and feed one ball bearing turbo. Right here, I've drilled this out one so I can blow stuff out. And so that I can put in 
an oil pressure sensor. Now, this cam is what, these cams are what I will be stealing oil from. So the question then is, are you leaving enough for the cams? I don't know. But if you want to say anything about it, then, uh, you know, please go ahead. I would love to have someone understand more about this. Mm -hmm.